Monday! Monday morning! Yes! Hello everyone, Professor Michael Kerr here. Okay, so I'm not a real professor, but I have a real flip chart, and I want to answer with my flip chart one of the most common questions that I get, where is that elusive humor line? I want to know where that humor line is because I don't want to jump over the line and risk offending my boss, a coworker, a customer. So here it is, for the first time ever, I'm going to draw you the humor line. It starts here, and it does this. Kind of goes over like this, kind of wanders around here, da 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 da, da ba da ba ba da ba da, and then it does, goes way up like this. Like you weren't expecting that, were you? That totally shocked you, I know. And then it comes over here, and then it kind of goes like this, it does a little figure eight over here, and then it loops down, and it comes over here, and then down here it just goes, Man, it goes crazy down there, like all over the place. It's just insane. So there you go, that elusive humor line. So if you don't want to offend anybody, if you want to be a professional person at work, just make sure you stay on the right side of this line and you'll be fine. Okay, so confession, I have no idea where this humor line is. I've looked for it everywhere. I've looked for it on maps, on, on pirate charts. I can't find the sucker because it is a pretty elusive, messy line. And the thing is, it changes all the time. It changes depending on the time of day, for goodness sakes, depending on the nature of your workplace culture. It changes depending on the context, on the situation, on who you're sharing your humor with. Of course, that line is going to be different when we're sharing our sense of humor with our customers over our colleagues or, or our family members. I mean, you can be as gross and sarcastic and cruel with your humor as you want when you're with your family members. That's why we've got families. But at work, it's hard to know where that line is. I appreciate that. But my point in bringing this up is don't let that humor line become an excuse, as so many workplaces do, for doing nothing. Too often, we err on the side of being so cautious, being politically correct, that we don't do anything and we end up creating a stifling, stuffy, uncreative workplace where imagination and creativity suffer, where teamwork and open and honesty suffer because everybody's afraid of offending somebody and pretty soon we create a workplace full of fun-sucking fun-suckers that are sucking the souls and sucking the life out of us. So don't let that humor line win. Yes, 1% of the time we might mess up because we're human, right? But don't let that stop you from the 99% of the time when humor could help us in the workplace to create that more humane, successful work environment. So don't let this line become a line in the sand that prevents you from swimming out into an ocean of greatness. Don't, don't let this line become a rope that, that binds your workplace culture into, into a bunch of knots where nobody can breathe. Okay, you know what I mean. Don't let this line get in the way of you creating a truly great workplace.